Now joining your downtown Yakima Rotary Club meeting. Underwritten in part by Argus Insurance. Helping you today to secure your tomorrow. And by Treetop. 50 years of growing good. And by the Yakima Herald Republic. A daily part of your life. All right. We are now ready to present some scholarships. And to do this, we have Jeannie Tolkacher and Pat McCarthy. Come on up. Thank you, President Charlie. Uh, fellow Rotarians and guests, and last but most importantly, students, your families, your friends who are here with you today. Uh, it was my pleasure this year to serve as the chair of the Academic Scholarship Committee. And before we get started, I just want to say a couple of words about the committee's work. Uh, first, I would like to give a big thank you to everyone who served on the committee this year. And I'd like you all, if you were a member of the committee, just to stand so we all know who you were. Thank you all for your commitment and time that you spent on this. I also want to give a big thanks to Elaine Barraza, the vice chair of this committee. I had the good fortune to travel the last several weeks in India with the Rotoplast medical team. So I bagged out uh, on the interviews and left everything in Elaine's lap. And she did a fabulous job uh, finishing up with the interviews and getting everything set up for today. So I wanted to tell you, Elaine, I really appreciate you taking the lead role in this for me while I was off in India. Um, I want to turn the program over now to Pat McCarthy. Pat volunteered, and thank you very much for volunteering to be our MC today. He's going to introduce our scholarship recipients. Um, I'm sure you're going to be wowed when you hear what the accomplishments um, that these kids have done uh, in their high school career. It's just very inspiring and amazing to me. And I'm going to ask all the committee members that are here and can stay to come up and meet me over here at the side, and we'll greet um, the recipients and congratulate them as Pat calls their names up to the podium. So go ahead, Pat. Let's go. Wow. What a group of fine students, academic, I call them academic All-Americans. Uh, I'm so glad that I'm here to hand out scholarships because I never got one. Not academically, anyway. But uh, there's some great kids here. You're going to hear about them here in just a little bit. And for all you parents and relatives that came today, you should be really proud of, of these young adults that have accomplished so much. Uh, we had representatives from uh, several high schools in the area, four from Eisenhower, four from West Valley, four from Natchez, two from LaSalle, and one from Sela. The colleges and universities they've selected, uh, four to the University of Washington, two to Washington State University, two to Western Washington University, two to Seattle University, two to the University of Puget Sound, one to Brigham Young University, one to Cornell University, and one to Gonzaga University. So it's, I don't understand why none of you went to the University of Montana. I, I'm really crushed. Anyway, we didn't let academic people go there very often. <laughs> I couldn't have got in if you guys went there. We evaluated 63 applications, and the, this group here read them all. If you read them all, it took you a while, several days for me. Uh, we interviewed 33, and we chose 15. Today, 15 students here for their, to acknowledge their scholarships. So, our first recipient, non-alphabetically, will be Stephen Wagger. Stephen, come on up. Stephen's a West Valley High School attended. Uh, he's going to attend the University of Puget Sound. His GPA is 3.79. His SAT scores were 620, 680 in, in math and reading, or reading and math, and then critical reading was 620, ACT score of 30. Now, if you don't know what those are, you can get 800 in each section of the SAT test, and you can get a 36 on the ACT test. Stephen, varsity football, varsity baseball, Fellowship of Christian Athletics president. He's very active in his church group. He wrote in his essay, the youth of our country play a huge role in making Yakima a better place to live. In fact, some acts of citizenship can only be done by youth. One example I know a lot about is fundraising. I was recently part of Mr. West Valley 
fundraising campaign which raised more than $17,000 for Children's Village in the NICU unit at Memorial Hospital. This is from Stephen's history teacher, Kevin Brennan. Stephen is an extraordinary active student. Stephen is a member of our Leadership Plus team, which spearheads our sophomore orientation, among other leadership projects around the school. Athletically, Stephen is a three-sport athlete who has demonstrated leadership and excellence. Stephen is captain of both the basketball team, the baseball team, and last year, Stephen earned first team all league as a pitcher in one of the toughest leagues in the state. Stephen Wagger. As I've said before, my name is Stephen Wagger and I go to West Valley High School. Um, next year I will be attending the University of Puget Sound in Tacoma and I will be studying uh, business and leadership. I've been recently accepted into a School of Business and Leadership there. Um, it's an honors business program that I will be participating in for the next four years. And um, they asked us to talk about our greatest achievement. Um, personally, I don't have a single honor or award that I can physically say is my greatest achievement. My greatest achievement is the sense of achievement that I uh, earned after going to Peru. Um, two summers ago, I went with a, a group of about 14 kids in our youth group uh, for a 10-day mission trip to Pacalpa, Peru. It's a small jungle village. And we were able to build an access ramp uh, for the church there. And for the past, for the first five days or so, we ran a vacation Bible school um, for the kids. And we had about 40 kids in each church. There was a church in the inner city and then a church kind of um, on the outskirts. And so we were just able to really reach out to the people there. And um, we were a huge impact on their lives. And um, although they didn't know it, they were definitely a huge impact on our lives. And that probably is the greatest achievement of my career to date. <laughs> Okay, next we go back alpha alphabetically. Maximilian Keith Archer. Maximilian, uh, West Valley High School, attending Gonzaga University next year, grade point, 3.99. Second out of 200 or 307 students in his class. Writing score, 610, math, 670, critical reading, 600. Marching band, jazz band, this kid's a musician. He's got all kinds of uh, acolytes for for that. Uh, he's the winner of the Masonic Education Council Academic Achievement Award, nominated by teachers and attended people to people learning to, le to lead leadership summit in, at Harvard. Uh, he's on the West Valley tennis team and on and on. In his essay he wrote, I work at a retirement home and at least once a week I hear residents grumble something along the lines of, quote, it scares me these teenagers are going to be running the world pretty soon. <laughs> Unfortunately for them, soon my peers and I will be running our communities, grocery stores, doctor's offices, and courthouses. Max. Um, hello, my name is Max Archer, um, and I'd like to thank everyone for this gift. Um, uh, as he said before, I'm a, I will be attending Gonzaga University this fall with a major in international relations and a minor in Spanish. I also plan on attending law school after that with a specialty in um, practicing international law. Um, my greatest achievement to date, like Stevens, uh, it's not something necessarily tangible, but it's a feeling of accomplishment that I got when I returned home from a 10-day leadership camp at uh, Harvard University this summer through People to People. Uh, it was an international leadership camp and there was 60 of us in our group uh, and there was only 12 of us from the United States and the rest were all from foreign countries everywhere, from Romania to Pakistan to you know uh, South American countries to literally all over the place. And uh, it was the, the best experience of my life, um, meeting all these different leaders from all over the world and getting that cultural experience and the sense of development coming home, knowing that I grew as a person, as a leader, as a son, and as a friend. And so that would be my, my greatest accomplishment today was the feeling of growth that I had after that, that camp and that experience, which was surely one, in a, one chance in a lifetime. So and thank you once again for this gift. I appreciate it.
Next recipient is Kyle Curtis. Kyle is an Eisenhower High School uh, student. He plans to attend the University of Washington, grade point 3.7. SAT writing, 520, math, 520, critical reading, 500, ACT, 23. Uh, White Swan Community Award, freshman class president, junior class vice president, FBLA state vice president, FBLA state president, Eisenhower student body ASB president. Superintendent of Schools in Yakima, Elaine wrote, Kyle is an exceptionally energetic, passionate leader with a clear vision, drive, and strong team building skills. At Eisenhower High School, he provides the inspiration and the uh, participation for students' activities and student culture to make sure good things happen for all Ike students. Kyle puts the time needed to get the job done right. There isn't a student more dedicated. Kyle. First of all, I'd like to uh, thank all the Rotarians here today and family members uh, for coming and also for uh, awarding me this award. I am definitely honored. Uh, my name is Kyle Curtis. As stated, I'm an a ASB president from Eisenhower High School. I've had that opportunity this year. I plan on attending the University of Washington this fall. I am uh, currently working for a, uh, towards a, a, they call it the B2 business program at the University of Washington with the Foster School of Business, which is a kind of a five-week program that uh, should give me five good uh, solid credits before school even starts and getting involved with that. Greatest accomplishments? Well, I've done a lot the past four years in high school, but I would have to say my greatest accomplishment, which you kind of heard of a lot today, is uh, Eisenhower ASB president. I started my freshman year at White Swan High School, which is a fantastic community and fa fantastic school, and I miss it dearly, but uh, I went to Eisenhower High School to pursue the advanced uh, education programs that they had there. So that was a huge, huge turnover for me from having a, a total high school population at White Swan of about 200 to a class of about 600 and a school of 2,200 to definitely uh, going into that big step and becoming the ASB president my senior year. Uh, the opportunities and the things that I've been able to accomplish and working with the other student leaders at Eisenhower High School has definitely been inspiring and uh, phenomenal um, journey. Uh, programs from Crime Stoppers, many of you have read, I've done a lot with that and it's been successful and I'm looking forward to other schools implementing that as well. Um, and also being a FBLA state president, just the, f the passion and the uh, opportunity to work with other student leaders in my community has been a great accomplishment and I'm extremely uh, proud of that and uh, grateful for that. So uh, definitely that, and thank you once again to all the Rotarians, uh, not only for this scholarship, but for uh, the amount of time uh, and commitment that you put into our community and our education as well, our schools here. Uh, greatly appreciated, thank you. <clears throat> Next recipient is Jenna Davison. Eisenhower High School, going to Seattle University, grade point 4.0. Class rank one out of 350. SAT scores, writing 530, math 640, critical reading 580. Humane Society Club President, track and field, volleyball, National Honor Society President. Jenna writes in her, in her letter, I'm trying to do exactly that. From the time I was at an adolescent, I was involved in my community. In the fourth and fifth grade, I was, reading, I was a reading tutor for younger kids in my elementary school. Became involved in, involved in my community early, and, it's, and it is a brief belief that has stayed with me to this day. As years have gone by, I've joined in on teen uh, writing sections unleashed for the local Yakima Herald Republic. I started the Humane Society Club at Eisenhower High School and got over 30 students involved in volunteering in our local Humane Society. <laughs> math I want to just thank all of you guys for just giving 
me this opportunity and giving me this scholarship. I'm very thankful. As I said, I'm going to Seattle University. I'm going to major in biochemistry because I want to become a cardiothoracic surgeon. And um, my greatest accomplishment, I have a few. I've had a 4.0. It's been really, really hard to keep, but I've been able to keep it. And um, I won a national award recently for my journalism for the Yakima Herald Republic. I did an article about mammograms and how they're important for the survival of women. And I just got, I got first place, so I was pretty excited about that. Um, this isn't the hardest speech I've ever given. I think one of my greatest accomplishments was being able to keep my composure when I gave my grandmother's eulogy a month ago. That was pretty cool. <laughs> and I just want everyone to know that the interview for this was pretty scary. There's like, just want everyone to know that. <laughs> and uh, just thank you all again. I'm just so grateful. Next recipient is Samuel Leiden Glazier. Spit it out, sorry. Samuel, come on up. LaSalle High School, attending uh, University of Washington next year, grade point 3.74, anticipated rank in class 10 out of 41, SAT writing 650, math 690, critical reading 580, ACT 31. Baseball, four-year varsity letterman, captain this last year. Basketball, three-year varsity letterman, uh, first team all league baseball. Academic excellence, uh, highest GPA in his class. Yakima Valley Community Foundation uh, Youth Advisory Committee. And the American Legion Baseball all summer. He wrote in his essay, before I volunteered, I didn't know it would be so rewarding. But the more I got involved, the more I wanted to. Whenever something needs to get done, I do it with all the effort I can give because hard work does pay off. I like to think that I have done everything I could to make my school, church, and general community a better place. Sam. Uh, like he said, my name is Sam Glazier, and there are actually a lot more people than I thought there was going to be here. Um, <laughs> but actually, as a correction, I'm actually going to Gonzaga University next year. Um, so, and uh, I think, like most people have said so far, my greatest accomplishment hasn't just been like one specific accomplishment. It's been like the satisfaction I get from everything I do. And one of the most recent things I can think of is I went to uh, New Orleans um, a couple months ago for a week-long service trip at LaSalle that we call Immersions. And it was a lot of fun. Like, we went down there and we took a red-eye flight, so that was just phenomenal. Um, so, we went down there and we helped people um, rebuild their homes and their lives, essentially, because um, some of the parts of New Orleans that were the hardest hit haven't, are still vacant and have homes that are just torn apart still today. And it's definitely eye-opening and it's definitely something I'm looking to uh, um, change in the future, hopefully. Um, and what we would do is we would help rebuild houses, and we worked with uh, Operation Helping Hands, which is a local foundation down there. And we helped rebuild homes, like I said before. And it was just when you finished a home finally, and you shook the person's hand, and you said thank you um, for letting us be here, and they said like, no, thank you for coming. It was just that's all it meant. That's pretty much the summary of what a good feeling is. Thank you. Um, and just last thing, I'm planning on studying math and biology, so hopefully I'll have a double major in math and biology. Depends on how much time that takes. Um, and I'm looking to be a physical therapist in this future, mostly sports therapy. But also one thing I hope to do is uh, have a program for inner city kids or lower income kids for wherever I'm at so that they too can learn about um, the medical field because that's something I feel is important because there's so many um, like bright hopes, I think, that are just lost because they don't get the opportunities. So that's my goal. Thank you again for everything. Okay, take one away from the University of Washington and give it to Gonzaga. Our next recipient is Satinder Carr. 
She's a Natchez High School, going to the Washington State University. Grade point 4.0, ranked number one in a class of 135. Writing score 660, math 580, critical reading 580. Um, Natchez Valley Community Coalition, Red Cross uh, Blood Drive, Operation Harvest, some of her curricular activities. Uh, science teacher at Natchez writes, she has been a student of mine in three science classes since her arrival to our high school three years ago. In all three classes, she has been a top student. Those three classes are honors biology, forensic science, and she earned a top percentage in uh, another difficult advanced course called anatomy and physiology. She's a very bright, conscientious, and respectful student. I'd like to thank you all for this opportunity to be here today. As stated before, my name is Satinder Carr, and next year I'll be attending Washington State University to pursue a career in nursing. Um, to this day, I believe my biggest accomplishment is my senior project, for which I did the Multicultural Food Fair. Um, it was a fundraiser that had food from six different countries, and I was raising money for the Pakistan flood relief. And I was working with the Red Cross, which is really important to me because I've been helping them throughout the years with blood drives and such. And we had about 100 people come up to the event, and we were able to raise nearly $600 for the Red Cross. And I believe that that is my biggest accomplishment till this day. Thank you for the opportunity. Next recipient is Bianca Lakai. Bianca's uh, Eisenhower High School, attending University of Washington next year. Grade point 4.0, ranked number one in her class of 350. Writing score 600, math 580, critical reading 640. Eisenhower Interact president, Eisenhower Five Star Newspaper, editor in chief. Eisenhower Drill Team president, Eisenhower Color Guard president. Uh, Blossom House Nursing Home, Youth Volunteer, Eisenhower Interact Activities, Operation Harvest, Yakima Rotary Auction, Salvation Army, Bell Ringing. Some of you don't do that, but that's okay. Yakima Symphony Orchestra, Second Chair Clarinet. Eisenhower Counselor wrote, over the past three years, I've had the opportunity of assisting Bianca plan her transition into university studies. She has done all the hard work by taking our toughest courses, outperforming her peers academically, and researching the best school programs. In effect, she has made my job a simple one. I write to report that Bianca Lakai is one of the most outstanding individuals I have had the pleasure of working with in my 15 years as a school counselor, and I think she is ready to take on the most challenging courses of study available. Bianca. Thank you for this opportunity. Like you said, my name is Bianca Lakai, and I will be attending the University of Washington next year, and I will be majoring in pre-med. I hope to one day specialize in neurology or pediatric surgery. My greatest educational accomplishment is being able to represent the Yakima School District as a Washington State Scholar. But however, my greatest personal accomplishments are my volunteer and community service. I represent Eisenhower High School as Interact President, and I help assist Eisenhower get involved with community service projects such as the Rotary Auction, Operation Harvest, and Salvation Army bell ringing. Um, I also volunteer at least once a week at Blossom House Nursing Home. There, I help socialize with residents and I help them with activities. I specifically work with a woman there who is 40 years old and she's both mentally and, phys and physically handicapped and I help her do craft projects and I help her with um, making her feel accomplished and doing the one thing she really loves to do. 
and I would like to thank the Yakima Rotary Club for helping assist me with accomplishing my higher education goals. Um, and that's it. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> Next recipient is Jessica Latimer. Jessica is a West Valley High School student attending the University of Washington next year. GPA 3.818, SAT writing 670, math 650, critical reading 700, 29 out of 36 on the ACT. Spokane Junior Symphony Orchestra, Yakima Youth Symphony Orchestra, West Valley High School Interact Club, West Valley, West Valley High School Knowledge Bowl Team, Yakima Valley Memorial Hospital Volunteer, Yakima Valley Community College professor wrote, I know Jessica outside of academia as well as through community service venues where I see her share compassion and talents. Most notably, she is has volunteered at a local hospital for several years, eventually acquiring a paid position there in addition to her volunteer work. She also has worked as a courtesy clerk at a local grocery store. I a, an accomplished musician, she performs music gratis when asked. Memorial Hospital employee wrote, Jessica is a well-rounded individual and excels in all aspects of her life. She's an exceptional student is active in her youth symphony orchestra, works part-time in the hospital gift shop, and still finds time for community service. She currently has accumulated 130 hours of volunteer service at Memorial Hospital and plans to continue volunte volunteering until leaving for college in the fall. Jessica. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to start off by thanking you for your time and your support. My name is Jessica Latimer, and I'm currently a senior at West Valley High School, and I'm also in Running Start full-time at YVCC. This June, I'll re uh, receive my diploma, as well as my Associate of Arts degree with the Science Option. And in the fall, I'll be headed to the University of Washington in Seattle to start my classes and pursue a future career in nursing with aspirations to eventually become a nursing practitioner or a nursing instructor. Um, I would like to say that um, my involvement in the community here had really started with being a, involved in Yakima and exposed to the environment here. It's a really close-knit community compared to the previous cities I've lived in. And so it really inspired me and I've been a memorial volunteer for the past two and a half years and I now work there and I'm involved with a lot of the events there and I've also been involved in a lot of clubs and organizations such as the YVCC Pre-Med Club and Interact and the Honor Society and Debate and also the Yakima Youth Symphony Orchestra. My greatest achievement to date is probably my individual fundraising. I play the violin and so as a musician I feel it's really important to um, share my art and my music with other people in order to benefit them. So over the past couple years, I've um, just set up my violin in various public places to raise donations for some organizations I have personal connections to, including Yakima Valley Memorial Hospital's Youth Works Program, the Yakima Youth Symphony Orchestra, and um, the American Cancer Society. And I would say that being able to directly contribute to those organizations, which are really important to me as well as staples in this community, was really rewarding and I plan to keep um, being involved in this community and um, also in Seattle after I graduate. So I'd like to thank you for all the, um, thank you for the scholarship and your time and um, thanks. <laughs> Next recipient is Seth Eric Martin. Seth is Natchez Valley High School, currently uh, admitted to Cornell University. Grade point, 3.881. Writing score, 660. Math, 670. Critical reading, 690. 28 on the ACT. Natchez Valley Community Coalition for Community. He's a community ambassador. Phi Theta Kappa National Honor Society Vice President. Men's soccer, men's football, jazz band. 
This kid has a black belt in uh, martial arts. Boys Nation, sen uh, Senator, 2010. Boys State Representative in 2010, Chief Executive of Staff. Natchez instructor writes, Seth has assumed the responsibility for his own education and one of the most instantaneously motivated students I've ever encountered in my 19-year career. He is uh, adept at, lo at locating opportunities and resources which will allow him to further his own education, such as the Washington Aerospace Scholarship Program. Naturally inquisitive, Seth is highly proficient in independent work, lab coursework, and creative approaches to solving problems. Heritage University instructor wrote, Seth is organized, efficient, extremely competent. He has an excellent rapport with people of all ages. His communication skills and empathy for others are both excellent. He is a leader among his peers with sensible reactions in all circumstances I've seen him in. Seth. All right, as he stated, my name is Seth Martin, and I would like to start this off by saying thank you very much. It's an honor to be here. As he said, I will be attending Cornell University the next, next year. I plan to major in mechanical engineering with a double minor in aerospace engineering and business administration. So when we got our packets and they told us to come up with accomplishments, and like many of my peers, I can't really specify a single accomplishment that I feel is the greatest I've done so far. I mean, I've had a lot of great experiences in my life. I learned to scuba dive down in Cozumel. I've scaled the Great Wall of China. At the Boys Nation program, I shook hands with President Obama. And for college applications, I, I got the choice between four Ivy League institutions. But none of these things, I, could re I can't really attribute any of these to being the number one accomplishment. If anything, it was the sense of heart I got over the four years. There's a wor word I would like to share with all of you. It's called all in. It's not used in modern English anymore. It's spelled O-L-L-I-N. And it means to move with your entire heart, your entire being. Over the course of the four years of doing a lot of work, I learned to follow my own heart, to put my entire self behind anything I did. This has probably been the single greatest accomplishment in my life. I know now that no matter what I do in college, because I've heard college majors change at times, no matter what I do, I'll put my whole heart into it. I'd like to thank my parents for always supporting me. I'd like to thank the Rotary International Group for <laughs> giving us these scholarships and always, always benefiting the community. I'd like to thank Ms. Byers for always being a, gui a guide when I needed it. I'd like to thank my fellow students, both from Natchez and those who aren't. And most of all, I wish I could just thank every single person that's had an influence in my life. I, I'm pretty self-intrinsically motivated. I do things on my own accord, but I know I wouldn't be here without others. So thank you, everyone. I really appreciate the scholarship, and I'm deeply honored. Thank you. Next recipient is Joshua T. Munson. Joshua is a SELA High School student attending Washington State University, GPA of 3.97. Anticipated class ranking second out of 243. SAT writing 530, math 560, critical reading 510. FBLA vice president, Spanish club president, ASB student government, freshman year class president, sophomore class president, and ASB secretary. Humane Society food drive, operations uh, SELA coordinator, breast cancer donation drive, red. Red Cross Blood Drive. Sela High School uh, teacher wrote, Mr. Munson has a heart of gold and is among the first to offer himself in service of others. In the past couple of years, he has volunteered count countless hours for too many organizations to even list. Josh organized the Sela High School Day of Service last year and worked to organize numerous students in community service projects. Additionally, he organized a money drive to feed the children and planned a dodgeball tournament to raise additional money for the organization. There is no challenge that Josh does not look at as an opportunity for growth. He is truly a remarkable young man. 
Kathy Pratt wrote, Sila. Josh is involved in every club and facet of high school. He is engaged in learning all he can, both in the classroom and extra extracurricular activities. He is active in FCCLA, Senior Council, ASB Leadership, and Honor Society. In each of these clubs, he not only participates, but holds offices and contributes to the greater good of the group. Joshua. As he said, my name is Josh Munson, and I first would like to thank you all so much for this great honor. I'm going off to Washington State University next year. Go Cougs. And um, I plan on majoring in marketing with a minor in communications and hopefully going on to go into hospitality and tourism. My biggest accomplishment, I would say to date, would be playing varsity tennis. My freshman year, I went underwent extensive spine surgery, and I wasn't sure what would happen after that, and just persevering and working through the aftermath of it, I finally got to reach my accomplishment, accomplishments of playing varsity tennis. Thank you again so much for this honor. Colleen Newell is the next recipient. Colleen's at LaSalle High School, attending Seattle University next year, grade point 4.0, ranked number one in her class of 41. Writing, 620, math, 610, critical reading, 590, 28 on the SAT, ACT. Associated student body, uh, campus minister, varsity soccer, varsity track and field, basketball, uh, did a couple um, missions in Browning, Montana and New Orleans in immersion. Volunteers at Camp Gormley, Northwest Harvest, many church fundraisers. She wrote in her essay, uh, understanding the state of society and taking, into, uh, taking action to make, a better, make it better has been an important aspect of citizenship for me. Through my participation in the Seattle Urban and Browning Montana service immersions, I have learned about the problems that poor, homeless, and neglected people encounter. By bringing this knowledge back to Yakima, I'm, I am more aware of the same situations I witnessed firsthand on the immersions and have deeper compassion to be of service to these impoverished people. LaSalle Administrator writes, Colleen's ability to balance her involvement in student life, leadership, varsity sports, and rigorous academic course studies. She stands as an important example of our student body and the students committed to the Lasallian mission. Hi, my name is Colleen Newell, and next year I will be attending Seattle University and pursuing a degree in environmental studies with the hope of um, researching and addressing environmental issues in our area. And the greatest accomplishment isn't, it's not just one, but it's also like the most meaningful experience I've had in my life. It's a service work that I do for others. Like I have volunteered at Camp Gormley um, for the past couple of years, being a counselor and staff member. And I, um, um, I get to work with the younger kids and help them grow spiritually. And also, I've attended um, three service immersions in the course of high school. I've been to Seattle and Browning and recently New Orleans. And each one has given me like deeper insight into the problems of our world and um, our communities, and also has inspired me to um, lead, my lead my life towards service. And my most accomplished moment was probably my sophomore year, my first serv service immersion down to Seattle. And um, there we directly work with the homeless people serving in soup kitchens. And I got to um, just be of service to them and see, see the problems they're going through. And it's kind of led my life in the direction of wanting to be of service to others. So thank you. <laughs> Next recipient is Tyler Olchi. Tyler is a West Valley High School student attending University of Puget Sound next year, grade point 3.96, uh, SAT writing 660, math 770, critical reading 630. Honor Society President, Yakima Masonic Award, Washington Scholar Top 10 nominee, 
West Valley Baseball Camp, Habitat for Humanity, West Valley High School uh, educator wrote, I teach biology. During the time I have spent with Tyler, I have learned that it, what an incredibly in intellectual young man he is. He is one of the brightest young men I have had in my 14 years of teaching. He grasps concepts quickly and easily. He pays particular attention to detail and is able to see the big picture clearly. He also never just accepts concepts. He proves to me that he is a critical thinker. Tyler is much more interested in learning than in the grade he might receive. And another West Valley English teacher wrote, what makes Tyler an outstanding student is not simply his academic work. He participates in several extracurricular activities, including four years of baseball, the Science Bowl, and Leadership Plus. His science bowl team took fourth in the state this year. He is also able to balance his academic life with community service and working part-time in a job. Tyler. Thank you for this honor today. Uh, next year I will be attending the University of Puget Sound. Uh, my fellow student Stephen Wagger is also attending there. Um, I'll be majoring in chemistry and hopefully math as well with a double major. Uh, I hope to move on to get my PhD in either chemical engineering or one of the two subjects so that uh, I can move on to be a professor. Um, my greatest sense of pride throughout my high school career has probably been uh, all the time I spent tutoring other students. I've spent time out of class, during class while I've been a TA and uh, I met in the homework center for many hours after school when I didn't have baseball. And it just really gave me a sense of accomplishment to see other people succeed because they wanted to spend the extra time after school and I was willing to help them. Thank you. Next recipient is Anna Rose Ulmer, Natchez Valley High School, attending Western Washington University. Grade point, 3.98. Ranked seventh in a class of 135. Writing, 700. Math, 550. Critical reading, 660. Cross country, track and field, National Honor Society, art club, drama club, song fest uh, choreographer. Uh, Natchez Valley Community Coalition member, ESD 105, Regional Art Show, Regional Winner, Heritage College Art Show, First Place, Children's Village Volunteer, Masonic Achievement Award, Evergreen Girl State nominee, Lettered in Cross Country. Natchez educator writes, throughout her time as a Natchez Valley High School, Anna has been actively involved in all aspects of art and participates in related activities within the community as well. She is universally respected by her peers and staff alike for her intellect, artistic talent, and dedication to her community. She is confident in who she is and does not alter her values in order to conform. She is a young lady who will surely succeed in her future endeavors. It has been an honor and a pleasure to know her as a student. My name is Anna Ulmer, and I'd like to start out by thanking everyone here and thanking the Rotary Club and my counselor, who's been very, very helpful this year, and my mother and my sister, who you'll see next. Um, like they said, I'm going to Western Washington University next year, and I plan to major in English and minor in journalism and hopefully do a double minor that will also include um, women's and gender studies, and I plan to work in journalism and work in other world-related issues. I'm very interested in communication and the effect that raising awareness and connecting people can have. Um, my future, like, you know, the bucket dream is one day I want to be a writer. And this year has been crazy. And <laughs> I'm sure if you talk to any of the seniors in this room, they will tell you the same thing. I mean, people say like, oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be so busy, but it's really busy. And so I, I've done a lot this year. 
I won the ESD 105 Regional High School Art Show at the regional level, and I was an honorable mention at state. And that was really cool because it was the third year I'd participated in this art show, and every year they'd been like, oh, you're so great, we're so sorry, you didn't win. And this year I did, which was, which was neat. Um, I went to Poetry Out Loud Regionals, which was incredible, and all the people there were so nice, and it was so wonderful to meet other high schoolers who were, had similar interests. And you know, obviously I've done a lot of volunteer work, and I choreographed for my high school show choir this year as well, which was, just gave me lots of insight on how hard teachers work to stay positive and uplifting and motivational and, you know, yeah. <laughs> um, but my greatest accomplishment, I feel, was this year for my senior project, I wrote a manuscript because tying back to the, you know, one day wanting to be a writer and it was kind of like, okay, well now I'm going to try to see if this will work and it did, which was exciting. Um, at now, I haven't started editing, but it's, 248 pages long, which is 124,000 words, which is a lot of words. And so finishing that and feeling like I finally got this whole idea out of my body was incredible. Um, thank you all again. Next recipient is Jessica Swan Ulmer. You might think you're seeing double and you are. Natchez Valley High School, attending Western Washington University, grade point 4.0, rank in class one out of 135. 690 on the writing, 620 on the math, 730 in critical reading. Valedictorian, daughter of American Revolution, Natchez Valley High School Good Citizen Award, National Honor Society President, track and field team, Children's Village Volunteer, Natchez Community Coalition to Reduce Underage Drinking and Drug Use, Poetry Out Loud National uh, Regional Finalist, Volunteers as a Math Tutor. Some of you may need that. A lifeguard, a swimming instructor, has done house sitting for pets. Uh, Masonic Achievement Award, Evergreen Girl State nominee recipient. Teacher at West Valley writes, as a high school counselor, I've been fortunate to work with many outstanding students who are academically and personally talent and professionally talented. Jessica is one of the most gifted students I have encountered. Most importantly, this young woman, this young woman with a, it has a great heart. A neighbor writes, over the past year, Jessica worked for me as a house sitter and, and dog walker. She has proven to be bright, reliable, dependable, a young woman with common sense and a desire to do things right. I've appreciated her willingness to take on additional responsibilities and her ability to problem solve without adult guidance. I've talked with Jessica about providing other services for me, and I look forward to employing her often over the coming years. Hello, my name is Jessica Swan Ulmer, and I would first like to thank you all so much for the opportunity to be here. It is truly an honor. Next fall, with my sister, Anna, you just saw her, I'm going to be attending Western Washington University, where I, as of this moment, plan to major in mathematics. Excitingly, I was also accepted into the new program that they have. It's a computer science and mathematics program for women. And I'm really looking forward to that. It's an, as I said, it's a new program. So I'm not entirely sure what it is, but it means that I get to go and study mathematics with my peers, and it's something that I've really been looking forward to. For my biggest accomplishment over the last four years, it actually came up um, because of the Rotary Scholarship interview, actually. I was driving home with my sister in the car, and we were talking about how we thought it went and all the sort of things that you get to talk about when you have a twin. And she said that for her most influential person, she had said it was me. And out of everything that I have done over the four years that I've been in high school and all of the accomplishments I've had, I would say that the biggest one is that the person who knows me best and knows me the most personally and not just about you know, the things on my resume and what I do in public and 
also has to deal with me when you know, we have to clean our bathroom and things like that. It was really rewarding to know that she thinks I'm a good person. So, and as a note, I would like to say that I think she is pretty awesome too. <laughs> so, once again, thank you so much. This is, this is really nice. Okay, last but not least, uh, Cecily Island, Eileen Wilson, Eisenhower High School, attending Brigham Young University next year, grade point 4.0, class rank number one out of 350. SAT writing 630, math 660, critical reading 800. That would be an ace. ACT 33 out of 36. Debate qualified for state three years, went to nationals junior year. Sophomore class president, w, WMEA All-State Band, first chair flute, track and field, swimming, diving team. Melody Lane singers, uh, ballet, jazz, Spokane Music Festival, uh, LDS, Seminary, uh, uh, Scripture, I can't read that word, award, sorry. Children's Village Coordinator. Eisenhower High School, teacher wrote, Cecily is deeply involved in her school and community. At school, she has served as a sophomore class president and worked on a variety of committees and projects. She has been involved in drama as a member of the Ike Players. She is an accomplished actress, dancer, and choreographer. The past two years, she choreographed the musicals All Shook Up and Once on This Island. She's an accomplished flutist. Those around, she, she lifts those around here to a, higher, to a higher achievement. She brightens the room just by walking in. She has a solid base of personal morals and beliefs. Local attorney wrote, I wish to comment on her integrity, character, and leadership qualities. I have observed her in her relationships and interactions with adults, other youth, and with children over the years. She has set for herself and then lived by the highest of standards, honesty, morality, and service to others. Accordingly, I have seen her bef befriending and including so many young people, including many that others sometimes overlook. She infects them with her poise, upbeat view of life, makes them her friends, brings them to her home, includes them with her family and other friends, and brings them to activities and, and events. And by sheer force of her energy and example, makes them better individuals than they were before. Hello, and good afternoon. Um, Something that I've learned from being a Wilson is patience. I didn't think I would be able to walk up here. I felt really stiff, but I didn't die, and I'm here to talk to you today. Um, my greatest accomplishment probably has been not accepting limits, probably to an extent of like almost death. Sleep is good for you. I don't get enough of it. Um, so if I'm a little weird, that's why I'm going to blame it on that. Um, I have done a lot in high school, so I'm not going to burden you with a list, but some of the things that stick out, <laughs> out to me are, as a freshman, I made it to Solon Ensemble State on the flute, and that was really exciting and a cool opportunity. Um, I made it to nationals uh, for debate. I have a partner. I do a thing called duo interpretation, and uh, I got into debate freshman year, and then we saw a tape of nationals because he was trying to show us, you know, like what the really cool people do. And I was like, why don't we go to nationals? And he was like, I don't know. We've just never gone to the qualifying tournament. And I was like, you're taking me there. And he was like, all right, when you're older. And so junior year, I was like, I'm older. We're going. And, <laughs> and he took us, and we made it. And so that was awesome. Um, I recently just learned May, I don't know, it just came out like three days ago. We got Fifth Avenue Award nominations. I don't know if any of you know what that is. It's sort of like state for musicals. And we got nominated Best Show, so we get to perform again. And so 
that's really cool. It's like top five out of like the 90 schools that compete. And my choreography got nominated and we got like 11 other nominations, but I'm not gonna tell you those. Um, <laughs> you can look it up online. So <laughs> um, I also feel accomplished that doing everything, well, doing everything that I do, um, I've managed to also have a social life and that may not sound like an accomplishment, but it is. And it's good because um, it's really important, I think, to have friends and uh, to still spend time with your family and meet new people and have relationships because no matter what you do, the most important thing in life and the thing that you end up caring about usually when you go to sleep is the people in your life. And so it's good to make sure that you have your priorities set and still care about others and have time to help other people just open a door, do whatever, talk to a person who's lonely, make new friends. And I'm glad that I'm still a friendly person and not a total workaholic, even though I'm busy. I'm going to Brigham Young University next year to major in zoology, supposedly. I don't actually know. I'd major in everything if they let me, but they probably won't, so I'll decide later. Thank you for the scholarship, and have a good day. That is wonderful. Pat, thank you very much. Jeannie, thank you for chairing that committee this year. Uh, students, you need to know that the Yakima Rotary Club is so proud of you. This has been a replay of your Yakima Downtown Rotary Club meeting, underwritten in part by Argus, helping you today to secure your tomorrow, and by Treetop, 50 years of growing good, and by the Yakima Herald Republic, a daily part of your life.